Hi, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we're getting it all in Super Soccer Blast, or Super Football Blast, Europe versus America. Now, this was developed and published by Unfinished Pixel. I suppose the pixels better get finished by soon. Uh, but it's available to you for just £8.39-$9.99, although it does frequently go on sale, so always keep an eye out. So if you remember playing the first Super so Soccer Blast, there's not much difference this time around in terms of anything. Still the same music here, still got hilarious football team names, still got very easy achievements which can be done in an hour, but this time they've added females into the game, so there's progress there. Maybe they're going to add some old people in the third game to mix it up a bit, perhaps. Saying that mind, it is still quite a fun one. But as for achievements and trophies, it's another very easy list. Uh, there's a bit of messing around with the team and avatar editor. Uh, avatar editor, even. We can still simulate matches in order to win various cup competitions. And of course, there is the miscellaneous achievements for scoring a goal after dribbling. A goal, scoring a goal from inside and outside the penalty area. Slash the box. As long as it's not that bloody overhead kick one again from the first one. Also, we're going to score 50 and 100 goals. So, either way, you're looking at around one to two hours to get this done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, again, the first thing we're going to be doing is messing around with the avatar. So, when we begin, we're going to go down to custom. Custom, hey? And we're going to go to team editor. And just click any team you want, doesn't matter. But scroll down to new team. Uh, again, you can pop any name in that you want. I'm going for a very serious name this time. Yeah, these nuts are seriously hairy. <laughs> anyway, go to squad editor and then we can just pick the goalkeeper. Press X on the goalkeeper. And then as long as it's female, we can just press the A button there to continue. That will swap the male out for the female. Candela Salas. And then when we press B to back out, the, the achievement won't unlock here, by the way. We have to press B to back out, save and exit. And that is where the everybody in achievement comes into it. So, after this bit, we can press B to back out once again, and once again, and go to the Avatar Editor. Avatar Editor, yes, yes. This time, now we can go down to New Player, and as you can see, we've got gender at the top, so you can swap it to male or female. Um, male's a, a lot fatter, for whatever particular reason, but anyway, uh, stick to female, whichever one you want, then choose her body or eyes, nose. Just change one little thing, go down to save, and it will uh, unlock the Hey Girl achievement. Before moving on, go to Hey Player, make sure that it is a male character this time. Again, looking chunkier for some reason. And again, choose one thing that you want to change. Jug ears and fat beard, with a pretty banging tattoo as well. Oh, I, in fact I didn't this time. Anyway, press the save button, press B to back out, and that should be the Hey Boy achievement. So you should be three achievements in within just a couple of minutes. So, now what we're going to do is do all the uh, cup simulating stuff. So press play, go to World Tour, and we're going to do these first four. So the ones that we need are the, um, the Euro Nations, the Copper Cup, and the two after that. I've already forgotten which ones they are, sorry. But uh, pick Euro Nations. This is basically the Euros. Now, remember, just from the first game, remember to click every single team on here. And make sure that every single team has uh, the, the remote control symbol by it. The Xbox remote symbol by it. As long as you've got that. Wales! Sorry. As long as you've got that, then we can press A to continue. Press A again, and then we can just simply simulate each match by pressing the X button. So all you'll be doing for the next sort of four minutes or so is pressing A and X, A and X, as quick as you can. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much there is to it. That's just how we're going to be winning these next sort of four big trophies. We're not going to be playing at all. Just keep spamming the A and X button. A to start, X to simulate, and then it's all good. What? Watch out for the Welsh, boys. Come on, Wales! Come on, the boys! Well, sorry, if it was the Six Nations in rugby, you get all these sort of non-rugby fans that come out of the woodwork going, Come on, the boys! Where? You know, all that jazz. Oh, anyway, Wales are into the quarterfinals. Well, goddamn. This could this could be uh, interesting. <laughs> it is very interesting. <gasps> we beat Italy! We beat... We, we've only got to play Finland. Ah, we're in the final! Wales! 
It's England versus Portugal. Come on, the boys. Wales versus Portugal. Wales win! Woohoo! Wales, that is only a good sign for the World Cup coming up ahead. I mean, this automatically confirms it. Wales are going to win the World Cup because Wales won the Euro Nations on this game. Well done, lads. Well done. That's an excellent-looking dragon as well on this game. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I'm getting carried away with myself there. So, with the first one done, the, the, obviously, no matter who it is, it doesn't matter who wins because you'll get the East Beast achievement. We can now go back to play World Tour and to the Copper Cup this time. And then... This isn't as interesting to me now because there's no whales in it. But again, just make sure you've picked every single team and they've got the Xbox remote by them. And then again, AXAX to keep simulating. So with that one done, we are going to go to play World Tour. We're going to go to the America versus Europe. And then after that, we're just going to go one over to All Stars. You know the drill by now. Make sure you picked every single team. Do the same with this one. Simulate every game until you win. Then do the same with the All Stars. And then we can get on with your miscellaneous stuffs. So, um, apparently Athletic Tunest won this one. I've never even heard of Athletic Tunest. Um, but apparently, the, the, the Tuna team won. So, congratulations, I suppose. Right, now we can get into the miscellaneous stuff. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go, of course, back to play. As soon as the achievement for bestest unlocks there, which it does. So, now we can go ahead and click play. Where's that guy's hand going? Get off her boobs, man. You big eyebrow douchebag. Um, go to quick match. We're going to put the AI level to very easy. And this time, just to get all the miscellaneous ones, we're going to put the match length to 90. Stadium and ball does not matter. But we can press the A button. Again, just like the first game, we are going to do uh, do it in two-player mode. So if you've got a second controller, this, make things, this makes things a lot easier. So make sure you've got your second controller switched on and ready to go. Because when we get to the next screen... So when we get to this screen, press the start button on the second controller to get up the second controller method right there. And then, of course, put uh, your player one, whichever one you want to go for. I'm going for United because, I mean, United suck at the minute, but still. And then, of course, put your player two to the opposite team. So that is how you do that. So all you're doing, make sure your controller's on and then press the start button. And that will get up that button prompt there. Right, so we've got Nacho Gutierrez, Harry Morgan... We've got Scotty Fisher as well, Brino Ferreira, and Ed Cavalanti. 
They're, they're, they're um, Lucky Harrison. Some fantastic names. Anyway, first thing we're going to be doing, we're just going to be stringing 20 passes together in a row. So let's press the A button to pass. All you've got to do is just keep passing. Doesn't matter how long you take, just make sure that the opposing player does not accidentally tackle you or anything like that. It should be easy enough. There shouldn't even be one opposite player um, trying to take the ball off you. So just keep pressing it, uh, passing it around. Pressing the A button, as you know, and then as soon as that unlocks, that is the Tiki Taka achievement, which we will get. Right, the next one can be, it's potentially a bit, oh, just on a Harry Maguire. <laughs> what an £80 million legend, huh? Right, so what we can do then, we've got to get a goal for after dribbling. The easiest way to do that is, when you're in the penalty area, where the goalkeeper is now, press the right bumper and then the B button immediately. So as you can see, he just done a little hop, step and skip or whatever, and then shot and it is a goal. So press the right bumper and then the B button pretty much straight away to get the dribbling goal there. Right, next we're going to get the long shot achievement. So it's B to shoot, as uh, you should know, an X to lob. So with any player, just take it off the opposite player. Make sure you're outside of the area here. Press the B button and you should, because the AI is on very easy, you should pretty much 95% of the time score the goalkeeper is as dumb as a genuine buffet of wieners to be honest um, right next up what we're going to get is the hall achievement now that is for scoring four goals with the same player so I've got Andrew Mounier right here supposed to be Andy Cole I suppose or Anthony Martial I don't know Anthony Martial well less, the less said about Martial the better but all you got to do is just score four goals with the same player so every time you kick off normally that you can pass it to the number nine just make sure that you've got the same player um, but again if you're doing a big long match like this you'll be getting a lot right next one we're going to do is the into the kitchen achievement and that is for scoring a goal inside the box what I wasn't getting, though, was if I press the B button to shoot inside the box, it wasn't working. So you've got to take it inside the box and press the A button to basically pass it in. So that is how you will unlock that achievement. So get inside the area, inside the penalty spot area, press the A button to pass it in to the goal, and that is how you unlock the Into the Kitchen achievement, rather than if you were to shoot by pressing the B button. For whatever reason, that wasn't working. So anyway, next we are going to hit the woodwork or in this game it's called the wood, you can get your hands off my wood, five times. So what you can do is just go up to your own goal and just walk it onto your post like so. Sometimes you'll obviously uh, may concede it for a corner, sometimes you may concede an own goal, but that's fine. Um, so I'm going to concede a corner here, but for whatever particular reason, uh, it unlocked for me after hitting the woodwork twice, hitting the post twice. So I just come to the, to the near post here, hit the woodwork, hit the post, walk, walking into it, and that is the woodpecker achievement, which unlocks there. So now, oh, legend, legend, mate. Right, now we should only have three achievements left, gold first, silver, and golden. So what we can do now, we've got to uh, win a match by six or more goals. So what we're going to do, obviously, we're not going to wait out the full 90 minutes, so we're going to press start. We're going to quit match, we're going to go back to play, we're going to go to quick match, we're going to go, again, keep AI level on very easy, but match length, put it on 5. Just do the same teams, remember to have your second controller uh, keeping it going. And then, what we're going to do now, because we have to win this match by 6 goals, what I would do was literally just try to, literally just try to score as many goals as you possibly can. It's up to you, you can... Um, so you can score the six goals and you can just wait it out if you wanted. But because we've got to get 100 goals anyway, you might as well just continue the onslaught and try and just score as many goals as you can so that it sort of takes less time um, to get the 100 goals later on. So for me, I wish this was a true scoreline of the current Manchester United squad. But <laughs> if we were about to play Real Madrid, we'd probably lose 23 0. So, oh, what a save! Roland Raban. Right, anyway, so I've managed to score 23 goals, so obviously that's, you know, 23 less than I have to score to get up to the 50 and 100. But we get the goal fest achievement, so, and just like the first game, own goals count. So we're going to go play, quick mode, do the exact same teams and everything that we've done so far. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to press and hold the X button as soon as we begin. So as soon as we kick off, press and hold the X button. And then just slightly 
put push the left stick to the left in order for uh, Nacho Gutierrez, i.e. David De Gea, to pop it into his own net. And we're just going to keep doing that um, until both achievements unlock, pretty much. That is as easy as pie. You don't have to mess around too much with this. It's just press and hold the X button, left stick to the left ever so slightly. And, um, yeah, we're just going to be keep doing that until we unlock the 50 goals and 100 goals achievement. So, it is another fan dabby dozy Very easy, but definitely quite an enjoyable one. I do hope they come out with another super soccer blast, or super football blast, of course. Because it's a, f it's a ball that you kick with your feet. That's why it's called football, not hand egg. Oh, hey, 69. Nice. So that is the one that got me my achievement for Golden, scoring 100 goals. Um, which, it's just hilariously perfect for me, to be honest. <laughs> because of my, obviously, serious, mature nature. But anyway, that's it then, guys and gals. So you should now have 16 out of 16. That should literally take you no more than an hour, sort of an hour 10, something like that. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope once again you've enjoyed the game. Hope you've enjoyed the guide and that it's helped as well. If it has, of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are still the most legendary legends I've ever legended. And, well, I guess I'm going to see you in the next one, guys and gals. See you then. Big love.